Alright, so hey everyone, this is my GSD and welcome to the vlog number 3, I suppose, of the tower defense that I'm developing. This time I added a lot of features and a lot of new stuff, so let me just show you once by playing the game. I'm sorry for the shuffling noises if there are any. I'm using a, yeah, I'm using a desktop mic. And of course it'll take a long time to enter play mode as you can see right here. So yeah. So first of all as you can notice there's a new weapon and it's basically a mortar which uh, shoots bombs I guess. Bombs or rockets as you may call them. Yeah it basically shoots bombs and rockets. And I also added these enemies and, well, with these health bars up top. And currently they are, these two are merging just because they are close by, but anyways, you get the idea. And so if I just take a new mortar and this model I made in Blender, and it's, I don't know what just happened. Did this freeze on me? Yeah, it. I think it just froze on me. Yeah. What is happening? Alright, so as you can see right here, uh, there's this mortar model. It, it looks like a Wi Fi router to me, but still, it's just a mortar. You place it down like that, and it's just going to shoot stuff. And currently, those two enemies had low, lower health than this one, so those two were killed on impact, and this one takes a little bit longer to kill just because he has more health. And let me just show you how much health he has so currently he has 280 health it's going down 200 now 120 and yeah as you can see the mortar is calculating projectiles and uh, just shooting at them and honestly I did not use any very complicated physics calculations I just use this thing let me just show you so first uh, edge it oh my god did I just Okay, so let me just show you, show it to you again. And I'm using a for loop right here. So as you can see, uh, let me just show you advanced mortar. Yeah, th that's the prefab. And as you can see, this mortar has four shooting points. So it shoots uh, the projectiles from here, 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 here. So. Uh, first of all, we have a array of transforms. I'm sorry for that noise. The, those are just a stray dogs. I don't know what to do about them. But uh, yeah, there is an array of game objects or transforms as you may call them. And uh, f for each array, I mean for each game object in that array, we are going to... Uh, instantiate a new projectile or artillery ball as is the variable right here in that in that barrel's position and we're just going to apply some force based on uh, the direction will be of course the barrel's forward facing point and distance to target which is basically calculated by vector treated distance method so let me just show you what was it uh, I think I think it was somewhere yeah I don't know but it's basically vector three dot distance uh, where, where was it I wrote it somewhere I think distance the target shortened I don't know but uh, I, I I remember using a vector three dot distance method and also, th this is basically a just a mo little, little, little bit modified version of the turret script. It's basically the same thing, calculating the rotation and all of that. And uh, yeah, so it just adds a force based on the forward direction of the barrel we're shooting it from, and into uh, multiplied by the distance to the target, the current enemy which we are locked on multiplied by the cal caliber which is also a variable and just divided by 0.952 to 
just uh yeah just to slow it down a little bit and yeah i'm pretty satisfied with the result and of course you notice that i added a bunch of more ui things i'm really sorry about those stray dogs if you can hear them um yeah let me just play the game once again and these this thing this model i made in blender yet again and currently this render looks like shit compared to this one right here so let me just buy the mortar again and also i made it green that looks nice and yeah there's this particle system that goes up every time um, the mortar impacts this thing the i mean the bullet just hits the ground or explodes or whatever you may call it but uh yeah so th those were the scripts let me show you the new script that i made uh, yeah i sh forgot to show you this upgrading the building thank god visual studio code just showed me this so what i mean by that is that you place down a mortar and it's just shooting like a normal mortar should and as you can see here these are the current stats of the mortar its level is one its max level is four its damage is 20 its fire rate is two per second uh yeah two I mean four bullets ejected from each barrel uh, per two seconds and its range is 10 but if I click on this right here and if I can upgrade this and as you can see the uh, level is going up of course the damage is going up and the fire rate is decreasing so we're shooting faster and the range is the same I don't want to change it and uh, if yeah if I just click away it'll do that and I just noticed what my money isn't clamped to zero for some reason I don't know but still uh, yeah so I, I cannot of course buy the turret right here because I don't have enough money so let me just reload the game uh, it works for the turret as well basically so let me just show you for one last time it'll not load of course and uh, as you can see right here these ui elements please reload working on a 4gb ram machine is literal pain that too with an agd and an i5 6 generation please okay so as you can see if i just buy a turret and place it down right now um of course the tile turns red because we cannot place anything right here and that's just a little effect that I added and as you can see we can click here we can of course upgrade the turret and uh, yeah max level reach as you can see I forgot to do that with the mortar I have a lot of stuff to do with the mortar and uh, yeah it works with the turret as well basically and currently these enemies don't move or anything um, I'm figuring out how to add that behavior to them i tried to add it through transform the translate and all of that but i don't know how to you know have a distance between the building and the enemy and make the enemy attack the building whenever they get close but uh yeah so again to the motor script as you can see it's it's all in this glory right here and the enemy script is just a stupid simple script which basically does all of this and uh, yeah so let me show you another script which is the upgrade building which is placed on the main camera so it shoots out the ray uh, from the screen to wherever we click the mouse on and if we just clicked on a building it just shows the uh, what can I say the UI element to upgrade the building right there so yeah that was pretty good and the, these are just the icons uh, that i used these two icons basically yeah and uh, i i created a mortar earlier as well as you can see from this image i create there was an earlier model of the mortar please load up this is literal pain working on a slow machine and as you can see this look really stupid and idiotic yes 
but uh, I tried to replicate the C no what what I mean, yeah the COC the Clash of Clans mortar model and at first it was working really fine but uh, it it just didn't match up with the turret which is kind of yeah half sci-fi and half real world I guess and uh, yeah it it the mortar model looked really stupid and I just wanted to make something similar to the turret and ma and something which just matched the style so yeah it was working fine and I, then I had to you know redo the scripts and all of that and that took like two days and I'm really sorry that I didn't upload for many days I think I told this earlier or maybe I told this in an earlier recording <laughs> I don't know but uh, yeah I had exams till 26 February and I've been free since then uh, but yeah I I am back to YouTube and uh, yeah back to basically game development and all of that good stuff so yeah that was it for this devlog and leave suggestions down below on how I can improve the UI because I'm horrible at UI organizing and stuff so leave suggestions down below how I can improve all of it and um, yeah that's it for this video and uh, I'll see you in the next video goodbye let me trim this okay wait okay done so yeah let me I'll stop this recording right here thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video if you like this channel and one more video like this then subscribe and uh, like this video as well and thanks for watching again and I'll see you in the next video goodbye